page turners welcome back to the channel i'm matthew the man with a hat who reads in today's video we're just going to be kind of talking about some random little things it's a random ramblings essentially i just want to kind of talk about some of the stuff that's been going on um some of the stuff that you can look forward to all sorts of fun stuff like that so we're just going to break into this this is probably not going to be a very long video but whatever um I would apologize for being gone and saying it won't happen again that I because I've missed two different times for content again. I missed like a whole week of content. I'm not going to do that because the way things have been going lately, I keep missing deadlines. I've been doing that a lot lately, so I'm not going to promise that it won't happen again. I'm thinking it'll be less likely the next couple months just because of all the stuff I want to film. We're getting into that end of the year stuff, you know and 2024 review 2025 preview um i'll have a book haul video coming up here in another week or so for september october that'll be the last book haul video of the year um what am i waiting for will be coming up i have a few adaption discussions coming up that i want to do um a lot of stuff like that coming um it's going to be a good selection of videos coming up we got good stuff on the way um but we'll get into more of that in a little bit, breaking down what some of those are. Um, the main reason I wanted to do this little video quick is to say we did it. We hit a milestone, 350 subscribers, or at least I'm assuming we hit 350 subscribers. I don't know for sure because obviously with bots and stuff, it might not be exactly 350 subscribers. According to YouTube, we're currently sitting at 352. So I'm guessing a few of those will disappear because they usually do um and i'm just so happy i never expected the channel to grow like that that's so cool that people are like yeah i'll subscribe to this guy i love that that is so awesome um so originally the plan was to do a live stream or live or whatever you want to call it when i hit 350 subscribers now i'm still planning to do that I don't know when I'm going to do that yet. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't figured out logistics on how to do that yet. Um, I'm like, do I need any specific tech that I don't have? I would probably just use my phone because, I mean, I don't know. Is that Can you do that? Can you do a live with your phone right to YouTube? Anybody know? I have no idea. I've never done that kind of the live stuff. So I don't know if I need to have any specific apps, if I need to have anything else specific. Um, I don't know. I haven't figured all that out yet. I'm working on that. We'll get it figured out. Um, I'll probably do it as an ask me video. I'll be taking questions beforehand, make a list and then answer questions on camera and converse with people in the chat and whatever. I don't know. Well, I don't know. We'll see how it works. I'm going to have to do some looking up on how to do all that. Um, let's see. As to when that will happen, I'm guessing it would be a Tuesday night, because Tuesday night is usually a night I don't have anything going on, so I could actually do it. Um, I'd say Tuesday at like 6 o'clock my time, which would be central time, so depending on where you're in the country, it'll, I think YouTube will break it down for you, I believe. It always does for me, it always tells me what time it's going to start my time, so that'll be coming up at some point and like i said i'm going to try to give no advance notice to people so if they want to tune in or whatever that'd be cool um like i said i haven't picked a day or anything i haven't picked anything like that so i don't know when it'll happen but it is going to happen at some point as i said we're getting into the end of the year stuff a lot of the fun videos will be coming up here in november i'm going to be working like 2025 preview stuff i'm going to be doing my big books for 2025 video i've done this the last couple years it's usually a pretty popular video as i talk about the biggest books in my physical tbr um and i'm also going to be finishing up and finalizing my list of books i want to reread in 2025 and posting that video because that is always it's always fun to plan that ahead last year's 2024 rereads video i've read pretty much everything from that video except one book that i'm hoping to squeeze in yet before the end of the year and that's a monster calls by patrick ness 
I wanted to reread that and then rewatch the movie so I can do like a very fair adaption discussion with it all fresh because I remember really liking the book and I remember really liking the movie. I cried during the movie and I didn't expect to cry. I usually don't cry in a movie. And that's, yeah, that movie got me really, really hard. Um, and then, of course, December, we'll get into 2024 surprises, 2024 disappointments, the best fiction 2024, best nonfiction 2024, all that good stuff. Um, the bet, top 10 fiction of 2024 is going to be a fun video to do and a challenging one because I have had so many five-star books I've just loved this year. I don't know how I'm going to narrow it down to 10, and I don't know how I'm going to rank those 10. Just sitting here thinking off the top of my head, I have like three or four books I could put at number one. And I just don't know how I'm going to do that. It's going to be a very interesting, interesting time to make that list. Um, yeah, that's going to be a really challenging list to make. Um, and just a heads up. Because I know some people will expect a specific book in the top five disappointments video for 2024 when that comes out. I'm just going to say right now, no, The Coil will not be in that list because I had little expecta no expectations going in. So I can't say it let me down. I can just say it was a terrible book and be done with it. So don't expect that book to be in the disappointments video. Because it's not going to be there. At least not in the ranking. Maybe I'll maybe I'll make it a dishonorable mention or something because that book, that book, is so bad, so bad. Um, but yeah. One last thing before I go, I just want to know: Has anybody else had something weird like with a video that you made months ago, all of a sudden getting like a huge influx of views for no apparent reason? Recently, within the last week and a half, as I'm filming this, one of my videos has gone from 55 views overall, which it was sitting at since June when I put the video out. Actually, it would have been May because it was my June TBR video. That video... <laughs> It's freaking gone up by like 30, 40 views over the last week and a half. And I don't know why. It's my June TBR for crying out loud. It's why that video of everything. It's not like it's a review video. It's not like there's anything news in it anymore. It was just, oh yeah, I'm planning to read these books in June. And it's like, I'm like, what? Why? I mean, I think I even got a couple of subscribers recently out of it. And I'm just like, but this video came out four months ago <laughs> almost five months ago at this point actually no yeah almost five months ago at this point and it's like wh what <laughs> why i just has that been happening to anybody else is it like a weird bot thing where bots are apparently watching these videos all of a sudden and giving them this huge boost. I mean, it's not like some of the other videos I expect it to grow on reviews to go videos to go up on randomly. It's just a weird video to be all of a sudden picking up views. But anyway, I'll leave you with that. That's all I have. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for any of these plans I've talked about? What are you looking forward to? Is there anything I should be trying to still plan and squeeze in for the rest of the year? I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep turning pages.